Hey everyone, and welcome back to some Mega Man Legacy Collection, Mega Man 1. Um, in the last episode, we beat all six Robot Masters. Cut Man, Guts Man, Elect Man, Ice Man, Fire Man, and Bomb Man. Now, we are on to, to take on the, the mass-producing robot factory of Dr. Wily. Uh, prepare your ears. I might have to turn this down. Yeah, I might have to turn that down in the in the editing. <laughs> okay, so to start us off, we got a big eye, and then another big eye. That's And then, following those two big eyes, another big eye. Ow, I thought I could sneak under there. And following that, a wall. No big eye. Hey, 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 first try. That's a tough jump, so I'm, I'm proud of myself for getting that first try. Hey, first try. I am rocking it today. And before I die horribly and have to do this all over again. Owie. Rude. Yeah, what I love about this game's Wily Castle and that isn't isn't done in a whole lot of Mega Man games. Well, actually it is done in a few, but they really make you make use of the uh, weapons that you gain throughout the game. And I think that's neat. I think it's, honestly, I think it's a little bit lame in games like Mega Man 11 or Mega Man 10 when you don't have to use the weapons. Because the weapons are such an important part. Sure, it makes it so that there's a little bit... Ah, dang. Uh, a little bit less player choice, and that is a little lame. But I would rather need to use the weapons than forget about them entirely, you know? I... Remember what I said about dying horribly? Oh, and needing to do it all over again. Oh, man, I hope I didn't just peek the mic. Ooh, sorry for your ears if, if I did. Okay, it's not that big a deal. It is actually kind of a big deal, because those jumps are really hard. If you can get them at the peak of their jump, even on a low jump, you can sneak your way under. But... I'm not that good at timing it. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Had some pizza for breakfast, so I guess that's coming back to haunt me. Ow. Okay. Ah, darn. Timed it wrong. And Elect Beam can actually break these blocks as well. But, once again, I say, if you know Mega Man, or I would say even if you know retro games in general, because this is pretty iconic, uh, you'll know why I'm saving my Thunder Beam. Owie! Jerk! Don't, don't, aww. Oh. Oh, he made me turn around and that that got the beam wrong. Where is it? Okay. Gonna ask where is it spawning me? 
I hope I have enough magnet beam for the next part once this is done. Okay, I forgot about the uh, recharges down here. Ow. So yeah, Magnet Beam isn't just a uh, little bonus thing, it's actually required to beat the game. So, oh no! Let's hope I can land this. Okay. Gonna... I might just speed up this farming a bit. Because this is going to take a while, so I'll see you in just a second. Okay, that's probably enough ammo. Um, this song that's playing right now is actually, it's, it's not one of my favorite songs. It, it's actually, I would say it's one of my favorite songs in the game. Um, but I'd say it's pretty low tier as far as Wily themes go. However, um, if you would like to hear a really good version of this, I just noticed the first three of these spelled BEG. BEG for mercy. Um, if you would like to hear a really good version of this song, uh, look up, uh, what's it called? What Have You Done by the Megas. Uh, it's, it's like a rock ballad version of this song with lyrics from the perspective of Dr. Wily. And it is genuinely fantastic. It's a whole medley of all the Wily ending themes from this, from this game. And it's really good. So, here we have probably the most iconic boss in the Mega Man series. This is, ow, the Yellow Devil. And we are going to destroy the Yellow Devil. Boom. Done. Gone. Reduced to an outline. If you play it legit, he's actually really hard, because those little blobs, they hurt you when he moves to each side. So you have to dodge the blobs, and they move really fast, so you gotta super memorize the pattern. But, you only gotta memorize the pattern once if you use the pause glitch. So. I, uh, excuse me, that was gross. Um, I am shameless in my use of glitches. Or at least that glitch. And the rap, the screen rap glitch from earlier in Cutman's stage. I always forget where the hole is. But I could use some extra ammo in my mana beam. And I think it's... no Darn. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Uh, there's no guts blocks here. Ow. Bro, you Mario'd me. I ain't no Goomba. Ow. That's how a Cutman fight should go. Barely any health taken off. Okay, here we go. And zap. Wait. Magnet beam is what I wanted to fill up. Okay. Oh, I forgot who it is. I think it's Electman that we're about to fight. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, the Legacy Collection has a rewind feature that I honestly don't really like. I mean, I, it's fine that it's there, I just don't personally like using it. Um, what was I about to say? I was about to talk about boss rushes. Um, they are probably... Oh, are you kidding me? That's why I had to inch to it earlier, but... I totally spaced on it. No checkpoint, either? Alright. Um, what was I talking about? Boss rushes, yeah. So one of the most maligned features of the Mega Man series, one of the most maligned tropes outside of the instant kill spikes and the, um... Oh, get off me, bro, bro, okay, okay. That's what you get. Oh, 
one of the most maligned tropes of the Mega Man series is boss rushes, because uh, in most games, you get through the Wily Castle, you, you fight all the bosses, you get to the very end, and then right before the ending, right before you fight Dr. Wily, you have to fight all eight Robot Masters again. And a lot of people, I'm personally, I don't mind it that much, but a lot of people say that it it brings the pacing to a screeching halt, and I get it. I get not liking the boss rushes. Um, and that's why I think this game and Mega Man X do it perfectly. They do it right. Where instead of uh, having you fight all the bosses at once at the very end, you fight them sort of as mini-bosses interspersed throughout the castle. I think that's perfect. I think that's how they should be done always. Even as someone who doesn't really care about the boss rushes all that much, good or bad. But, that's just me. Everyone's got their own take on it. And that is perfectly fine and valid. Come on, there we go. I just gotta be good at avoiding them. I just noticed my life count also. Um, big uh oh there. I hope I don't die any during Copy Robot. Oh, spoilers for this boss. I guess saying the name doesn't tell you exactly what it is. Okay, good. Ouchie. Not ouchie, but that scared me. Um. Okay, now we're making some making some progress toward not dying. Oh, goodbye, my loves. Ooh, what needs ammo the most? Uh, there's not really gonna be another chance to use guts, guts beam, guts beam, uh, super arm. So I may as well. Fill up Thunderbeam. I love orb. I love orb. It's so yummy. Tastes like blueberries. So this is Copy Robot. I won't demonstrate this, but um, Copy Robot is, as you can probably guess by the very creative name perfect clone of Mega Man, and will use whatever weapon you have equipped. And it's very annoying, so I'm just gonna pause glitch it with Firestorm, because I'm pretty sure that's its weakness. Maybe that's its weakness. Yeah, that's not going down very fast at all. Maybe Firestorm is its weakness in PSP, uh, Mega Man Powered Up. That's what I'm thinking of, but I don't know. Come on, almost there. Yeah! Okay. That was... Oop, didn't mean to poke my mic there. I was scratching my eye. Um... I have no idea what I was about to say. I was gonna say something, and then I accidentally poked my mic, and it is now gone from my brain. I... Oops. I'm not a huge fan. I'm blowing it. Hey, nice. I'm not a huge fan of this level in particular. So, I hope I can just get it done. Not, uh, not die. They, uh, they very much improved this level in Mega Man Powered Up. I talked about the two remakes earlier, uh, Wily Wars and Powered Up. Wily Wars is actually a full 16-bit remake of uh, the first three Mega Man games with an extra Mega Man game at the end called Wily Tower. It's very cool. I love Wily Wars, but as a remake to Mega Man 1, I prefer Powered Up every time because Powered Up is just... it's just great. It's basically... There is an old-style version, like I said, where you can play through 
the original level designs, and that that's very cool. It still uses the 2.5D visuals, but the level designs are completely faith, almost completely faithful to the originals. Um, but the main game, the new style game, whoops, is basically a full reimagining of Mega Man 1, including two new Robot Masters, even. Uh, Oil Man and Time Man. And it's, it's great. Um, oops. One of the best features in it, in my opinion, is if you beat a Robot Master Buster Only, um, God, I don't like that there's no E-Tanks in this game. Uh, if you beat a Robot Master Buster Only, you can then play it as that Robot Master. And they get their own story, their own cutscenes, all that jazz, too. It's great. I love Mega Man Powered Up. Well, I've, I've screwed myself entirely. I'm... I'm entirely boned. Okay. So... Yeah, that's what I mean by I'm boned. Their guts blocks don't respawn in this game. So if you use a guts block and then die, you don't get that guts block back. So you best hope you don't die. Which I did. I'm very sad about it. Ooh. Okay, it wasn't actually that close, but those things do a lot of damage, so it felt very close. With only having three guts blocks to use. I believe this is the final level, if memory serves right. So here we are at the at the home stretch. Eh. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I filled up guts. I guess I don't really have anything else to fill up. This is one of my favorite features of the level of the game. Just these, like, hundreds of gutsmen just in the wall. I love the idea that Wily's grand plan is to just mass-produce these nigh-unstoppable robots. And the only thing that can stop him is this little boy who wasn't even built to fight. It's... I love... It's... I, I bet they weren't even thinking that much about it, and it was just like, oh, you know what would be a, a cool thing to put in this level is... And they were right. Uh, so what we got just now was the Yashichi. Um, that is a feature of many Capcom games, and its, its effects vary from game to game. But in this game in particular... It's essentially a full restore. It fills up your health completely, it, and it fills up all your weapon ammo entirely. So, Yashishi is pretty great. Apologies for my quiet. There's, uh, not a lot to talk about. Right now, we're just fighting robots we've done fought already. In fact, I might actually speed this up once I'm done with my spiel. Just because there's not really anything new going on. Okay! Here we are at the end. I always forget what the Wily machine is weak to in this game, and in Mega Man 2. I don't know why. I never remember, but we're going in blind. Um, 
I think cut. I don't want to pick up that thing with cut equipped. I think it's cut for the first and fire for the second phase. I don't remember. But I guess we'll find out. Thank God that they don't use the sound effect, honestly. That is doing one at a time. It is not cut. Maybe it's fire for the first? That's doing some good damage, yeah. Come on. And now it's cut, right? That's still... Neither of them are weak to cut? Maybe I'm thinking of Metal Blade and Mega Man 2. I know I'm completely undercutting this boss, but... What do you want from me? I'm a dirty cheater. And with that, we have won! We have defeated Dr. Wily, ended his evil reign, and now we will destroy him! No, I, he's just going to jail, I guess. under an hour for that whole game. Nice. Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight, Mega Man, for everlasting peace! This was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I mean, it wasn't any different from just a normal playthrough of Mega Man 1, but still, I, I'm excited for what it represents. I'm, I'm, I totally want to do this more, play more Mega Man on YouTube.com, so I think I will. I think, you know, once I've got this uploaded, I will start playing Mega Man 2, and it'll be great, and we'll have a great time, even though Mega Man 2 is a little, I don't want to say overrated, because I don't like that word, but I do feel like it's, I don't know, I think it has faults that many people don't look for, but I still love it, it's still a great game. Presented by Capcom USA. What a what a good what a decent start to a to a legendary franchise. And it's just gonna stay on this screen forever, I think. So with that, we have defeated Dr. Wily, we have beaten Mega Man 1. I will see y'all in the next one. See ya.